Hey guys, welcome to a Cascade Gaming Path of Exile blind run video. You guys know the rules by now, no guides, no walkthroughs, no wikis, no googling, no instructions aside from the ones provided by the community, and that is you. Let's get into the video. Instruction. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for the tier 2 map yet, but let's try the siege map. Tier 5, gotta be matching, so blue. And 6 to 10, they have to be yellow. 11 to 16, they have to be red and corrupted. Jeez. They don't ask so much. Um, okay. Let's try this one. That map needs, needs to be made. Ah, oh, so it has to be made magic for the bone subjective. Right. I understand you. That's alright. Let's just try it there. Okay. So I'm just... I'm getting it. So we have to use our our items, like what we need, what we use for our gear to make that map magic so then the bonus objective becomes active. Is what I'm taking from that. Okay. I've got I've got it now. Well, I sort of got it. I've got some basic level of understanding. So, I would have needed to have made it magic for these guys to have counted for that additional objective. Alright. That's something to know for next time. But that's interesting. See, I thought that the objective would just be, okay, then there's the objective, off you go. But no. I would have had to have done extra stuff. That's fine though. But the other map that I've got is yellow, so that means that it should count when I do the the yellow map, the 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 corp the crypt uh, the corpse map, whatever it is. The horrible sounding map. <laughs> and then when I kill the magic dudes, it'll be like, hey, there we go. Oh, we got another map. Dark forest map. Okay. I'm taking that. Excellent. This is good. We're getting maps from maps. There's maps upon maps upon maps. Hey, Garden's map! That was the basic level one. Oh, and that's already magic, so that means that when we go and do that, it's going to be really good. Cass, maybe use your flame dash, because that's what it's for. I see. I see. Okay. I'm sort of understanding. Okay. So, because that's purple now, then the purple quest counts for it. Alright, um, my brain's ticking along. It's not, um, <laughs> it's probably not ticking along in the right direction, but it's ticking along in a direction. Oh, the Bone Crypt map. I didn't even realise that... We found that. Oh, we've picked up like three maps in here. And one is already magic. And then we can make the other two magic. Hmm. More than 50 monsters. Hey, I didn't notice that before either. More than 50 monsters remain. Oh. Yep. Yeah, she comes all the way back to the start for it to not even be the right, po the right spot. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Off we go. Maps. Interesting. So, it's kind of like... Kind of like, um, the, the default dungeons. Where you use your, you use your sigil and you, you, you open, open the dungeon. Jeez, these guys are a bit spicy. Um, Flame dash, flame dash. Yep, I am ready though. Stop, 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 stop saying that I'm not ready. I'm definitely ready. Um, okay, instilling orb. Nice. Still more than 50 monsters remain. That's kind of scary. But the more monsters I kill, the more chance that I'll pick up something why do these things look terrible their limbs are too long um yeah the more things that i kill the more chances of more maps dropping 
Well, I kind of, kind of want to clear everything now. I mean, I don't because it's terrifying, but I still kind of want to clear everything now. So I want more maps. So this is the start of the end game, end game instance loop where things start to get interesting. Yeah, well, experiencing it for the first time. <gasps> Hello, my darling. How are you? I didn't realize that you were about. I would have sent you a message that I was that I was gonna do the stream. Um, okay, so so this is so the maps are kind of like the end game dungeons. I just woke up. Eleven hours sleep. That's great. I'm glad that you got some sleep. All right, so this is the this is the end game loop now. Things start getting really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Experiencing this game um, without using any guides or anything like that, kind of in the spirit of like when a game gets first released and nobody and nobody really knows what they're doing has been really handy and then like it's been been very fun because I think that's kind of the true spirit of enjoying a game for the first time people can disagree with me that's okay um but then also like people sharing tips and stuff that's very reminiscent to me of when a game first launches because nobody really knows what they're doing but then when people find out something interesting they tell everyone else so it's kind of like the, you know, spoken word shared knowledge as opposed to I'm just going to go on to max roll and min max the like absolute crap out of my build until it's like not fun to play anymore. I know some people love min maxing and I'm not going to um, like say that that's the wrong way to play the game. It's just not the way that I like to play, play the game. I hate, I hate min maxing the fun out of games. I'd rather just stumble along, just not really knowing what I'm doing, and just get, like like having people go, oh, by the way, this is a really good tip, and it's like, yeah, that is a really good tip. But yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just kind of stumble my way through the game. Yeah. So yeah, Ben's all about min maxing the games, like our uh, the strategy game that we've been playing like every single day. He has min-maxed the absolute crap out of that game. And I'm just like, how is that still fun? But he loves min-maxing. So it's like, ah. Why do you love min-maxing so much? It's not fun. But it's like, no, different things are fun to different people. Yeah. Like, I can't understand it. I understand it from the perspective of being able to do more things in the game, for sure. But I don't understand it just on general principle. <laughs> yeah, I'm in maxing on general principle. Because, like, I'd always rather make my own builds and, you know, if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. But apparently can't really do that, so, which is why I've had had some help from um, people watching to make sure that I don't brick um, brick this character's skill tree, which is very good because I want to continue on it as much as I can. But um, yeah, I think doing it without any guides or anything like that, it's kind of, you know, like it's got that launch day vibe. What I'm, what I'm trying to say like a thousand times in a thousand different ways and I can't quite get it out. No, 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 no. You guys suck. Ah, in Kindling Orb. I don't know if I've picked up one of those. Um, I'm the only one who's allowed to do fire, thank you. Um, okay, well, I'm not using staves. 
this is crazy like just the the sheer number of enemies that come at you all at once <laughs> the audacity of them thinking they can fire absolutely and thank you for the little bit but i was i was the same <laughs> i was the same on diablo with um the the bosses in the infernal hordes um because that's oh we've got less duration support okay i've probably already got one of those i've got like a whole bank tab full of gems um you love mindless slaughter this is kind of mindless slaughter but not really you gotta like plan a little bit and then you can do then you can mindless slaughter It's, I, I probably should not admit to this, but I'm pr I'm using like literally four buttons on my keyboard and five buttons on my mouse to play. Everyone's probably gonna be like, "But that's why you're dying, Cass." Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, did I end up getting Luxus so die when it was on sale? No, I didn't. I don't know how well the the notification on Streamlabs actually lines up. Oh my god. Right. That was a bit spicy. Maybe we'll revive at that portal that I just popped down. Ah, uh, please let me revive at that portal that I just popped down. Yes! Thank you, ad break. Without that ad break, I would not have made that portal. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is like literally the one time where everyone has to be stoked for an ad break. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be, but the one time that Cass is really excited for an ad break. Oh, there's only 30 monsters left. 30 monsters left of the map. Well, that's interesting. All right, let's try this boss. Oh! You look spicy. He does not look he doesn't look super friendly, guys. Um for some reason, I don't think I'm getting like invites to anything. Oh jeez! I'm off the Christmas card list. Alright. Oh <gasps> Okay, so this oh, I've gotta be like right in the middle. Do I? No, I've just got to take down his stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. This dude has the ouch. He has the ouch. I might, I might make another portal just outside of his door though. Damn, you spicy. Alright. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, it's like, how are you feeling, Cass? It's like, it's like my mouth opens to scream, but no sound comes out. All right, I've got to hit down the things around him because they're keeping up his shield. I just need to not panic. All right. We're not panicking. Flame dash is on R. Our flame totem is on T. Wave of conviction is on that. All right. All the... <laughs> Why are you cheering the panic? <laughs> What am I supposed to do with you, woman, when you cheer the panic? Alright. Oh, He hits hard. But you know what? Could you play that way too? <laughs> oh, no. We've only got two, two more. Okay, we've only got one more revive after this in this map. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This may not go well. Got to get out of that. Got to dash, 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 move. I'm gonna fail this map. I'm gonna fail this map. Oh, I can't. I can't spray and pray for it though. I've got to take down those targeted things. And all right, this is the face of focus and 
attention and calmness. You are calm. You can do this. If you don't do this, you can go to a lower level and take out your aggression on low-level mobs because that is what grown-ups do. Alright. Need more mana. Okay, I can give you more mana. Oh, 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 need more health. I need more health. <gasps> Holy shit, we did it! <laughs> Sorry for the, um, the additional noise. I can't believe that happened. Thank you. Yes, that's the cheering. We're cheering for that. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's really good. Yes. <sighs> well. All right. So the key is calming the frick down and not panicking. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? I'm just, I'm just assuming I'm going to die around here at some point, but I'm like, hey, you know what? If I can, like, maybe get, like, another map fragment out here, or, like, some things, or, like, oh, kill the last monster on the map. Hey! We got an achievement! We fully cleared an in-game map! We fully cleared a map! Alright. I'm excited. That was a good decision! <laughs> Thank you for all the cheering. Ah. I'm so stoked about that. Like, because I have no idea what the achievements are in this game. Every time I get an achievement, I'm just like, I just lose my mind. So glad we went back and it was the last chance to. Yes. That is, well, I hope you had a lot of fun with that one. I'm honestly having the best time. I love this game. Um, I'm loving all of the advice that I'm getting. So please leave your comments below. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the rest of my blind run through of basically the best game ever. So anyway, I love you all. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and bye for now.